that I have a problem with being upset with everything that I start. Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and welcome to my NaNoWriMo vlog number 19. I am getting tired of doing daily vlogs, to be honest. Not that I don't enjoy it once I finally sit down and start recording, but I'm just... Every moment up until now, it's just like, why? So I have started winding down my story. I am currently at like, I don't know, 35, 36,000 words, and um, I am really close to being done with NaNoWriMo. Um, the stats page said I should be done on the 20th of November, and I'm really, really hoping that I will be. I will be writing 1,667 words every day, and I am just hoping to get it done with ASAP because I am tired of writing and of everything. And uh, once I finish my story, I will still be making daily vlogs. They'll probably be a little bit shorter and probably be tailored more to getting through NaNoWriMo for those who have not finished. Um, so yes, my goal is to finish by the 20th of November and not the 30th. So aiming for 10 days early, but we'll see how that turns out. So the necessary word count for today is 26 26,672 words. My current word count, as I just checked, is 37,955 words. So I am mm, almost done. I'm basically 12,000-ish words away from finishing NaNoWriMo. Jeez, I'm so ready to be done. I've started so many projects recently that I'm just tired of. Like in Animal Crossing, totally unrelated, but in Animal Crossing I've started to redo my town. I'm gonna see if you can see this. And I am uh, trying to do like pathways and stuff and it's really not turning out the way that I wanted it to. So I'm kind of upset about that, but we'll see how it all works out in the end. But anyways, um, Today's video is going to be a little short video about getting to your word count and like spacing pretty much. It is the 16th of November so we are more than halfway through with NaNoWriMo and um, like I said I'm winding down in my story and so I have sort of had to get with the program. So what I mean by that is I am getting geared up to finish. However, I still do have to write like 12,000 words more, and so I can't rush to the finish line. And unfortunately, I've kind of written myself into a corner. At this moment in time, um, two weeks have gone by, and in a story, and um, it, purely because I am lazy and do not feel like writing out what happens in those two weeks, nothing important happens, so I suppose it's okay that I skipped the two weeks, but at the same time it was mostly me just being lazy and wanting to get the story finished. But I have written myself into a corner because of doing this, and what I mean by that is um, Evrielle is currently in a situation in which she can't really get out of by herself. So yes, Silas is involved in this. Silas has can, uh, has come around, and he has um, he is helping her, even though he doesn't really want to because he knows how it's going to end, and it it hurts him to have to do this. But he understands that she believes this is really important and that she needs to do it for herself and for all of the other clones. However, he is not in the position of power in which he can. Um, remove her from her current situation. As well as, as soon as she is removed from her current situation, that is the climax and the ending. So once I get to that point, there's no possible way to write 12,000 words from that point to the end. I suppose there is. I do have an epilogue planned out, which is probably what I'll write for my word count today. Um, and it's kind of, what it's going to be is it's like a newsletter type thing. But, um, the problem is, like, once I hit the climax, it's, it's action-packed and super fast-paced. And obviously it's not going to be boring, but it is going to be on the shorter side. And, um, I can see myself getting maybe 
I don't know, 5,000 words? Maybe, maybe a little bit more than 5,000 words out of the climax to the ending. And I kind of need it to be more than 5,000 words. But at this point in time, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. So, for anyone else out there who is struggling with this and have written themselves into a corner, if you have found a way to write yourself out of that corner, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, it may not help me necessarily, it might help anyone else who watches this video and reads the comments, and let's hope that it does, because currently I am in a situation and I need to get out of it. And I don't want to write too many pointless things, you know, like I don't want to just write fluff, although I do love fluff, I don't want to write fluff just for the sole purpose of reaching the word count. I'll write fluff when it fits, but not when it doesn't fit and is only for the sake of words. Um, I'm sorry for the last few videos I have not been reading my favorite and least favorite passage and I'm also not going to do that again today as you may or may not be able to tell I'm still kind of sick. I had to go out and meet my biological grandparents for breakfast slash lunch today so that is why I'm all makeup and nicely presentable looking but I still don't feel tip top shape so I'm not going to do that and I dread sitting down and writing because I really really don't want to but I'm gonna do it anyways I'll probably write the epilogue like I said anyways this is a pretty much unedited video so I hope you guys enjoy the unedited bits even though there's nothing really exciting going on but anyways I hope you all reach your word count for today and I hope that you did not write yourself into a corner and that if you have you get out of it easily I will see you again tomorrow for another NaNoWriMo vlog, but until then, happy writing.